We already have a uh, have a winner. <clears throat> Y'all know Miss Doty? Yes, we love Miss Doty. She's 90 years old, yes. and she remembered uh, her Christmas when she was four. She and, is and several so precious. others too. She was really fun. I tell her all the time I want to be just like her. When I grow up, she's so precious. She did great. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. We'll four four together. Uh, four Christmas wanna... together or three? Um, we got married in 2012, so, but we were together in 11. So, so what's four. Your, what's, your, what's your favorite Christmas memory? You can take this as an individual question or together. And by the way, we're not going to hear me, so kind of restate the question back to. Okay, okay. what's the uh, what's our favorite or uh, what's my favorite Christmas memory? Um, I'll let Brandy go first. This isn't really my favorite Christmas memory, but a great memory that I have with Mark was last year, um, we were asked by the Chamber of Commerce to MC the El Dorado Christmas Parade. And it was a lot of fun. We uh, we really didn't know what to expect going into it. I think we- uh, But we were prepared. We were prepared. We were prepared. Um, the night before, we received a large binder from the Chamber of Commerce with all of the floats in it and who was going to be on the floats. And um, they were they were very organized. It was it was great. Um, but we stayed up really late that night going through each one and, and how to pronounce everyone's names. Right. Um, and Mark, I'll let you talk. Well, I came up with a, with a list of facts. So as the parade go by, I wanted to call it like a pro wrestling match. Or like a basketball game, you know, commentate it, you of know, course. and so play the, do the, the color. And so, uh, yeah, we had lots of Christmas facts mm -hmm. and um, so it went really good. Then also had a little saying. So every time a float was going too fast, I would say that's a Linda Ronstadt song. And she'd say, what? And I'm like, blue by blue you. By you. <laughs> and uh, so we had a lot of fun. And then uh, it was played over and over throughout the holidays. And so everybody was always reminding us about the, yes, about us uh, emceeing the Christmas parade. Yes, and it was a lot of fun. What about uh, childhood Christmas memories? Um, you know, I guess the, I don't know how old we were. My brother Jason and I, you know, of course you would get the, they don't have Christmas catalogs anymore. So we'd get our, so we would get our uh, Christmas catalogs, you know, I guess around September or whatever. So you'd start picking out what you wanted. And so I was Dallas Cowboys and Jay was uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. And so, uh, Christmas morning we got, I got the Roger Staubach jersey and the Cowboys helmet and he got the Terry Bradshaw jersey and the Steelers helmet and so then we went out in the backyard and played and so, but yeah, Christmas is always a big deal growing up with, uh, with our family. For me, I was an only child and I will say that I was very spoiled and so I would do the same thing with the, um, the Sears catalog or the JCPenney or Toys R Us. Or whatever. Spiegel. Spiegel was around then too, yeah. And so I would go through and circle everything and my mom would always make sure that I got everything. And so Christmas has always been a big deal to me and I'm used to getting what I want. I will say that. <laughs> I don't think I'm as bad now that we have three kids and I don't ever get anything for myself, but I always try to make sure that our kids have everything that they no, want. Now it's fun. I see what my parents went through when we were kids yeah. uh, to provide Christmas for us. And, and so we, we do go all out and try to. We and, do. You know, we, why we not? It happens deal. once a year. And I want our kids to, uh, you know, get to my age and look back on what Christmas how cool it was for me and my brother and so and we try to do that and so we do. it's always good yeah uh, favorite christmas gift you've ever given I've ever given hmm i don't know mine i'll go ahead and talk i don't think I i've ever mine. given a christmas gift before yes you have stop last year our kids all year wanted an xbox that was the thing we had three children and their ages at the time were 9 11 and 6 and they all three were just going how they wanted Xbox. None of them had ever been the video game type. And um, anyway, last year, for whatever reason, they really wanted it. And we knew that they really wanted it. Well, we, they didn't decide that they wanted this until after the fact, after we had bought all these other things that they wanted, of course. And so at the last minute, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. I think I got it Black Friday. And so anyway, I uh, went ahead and got it and got a few games to go with it. And um, so that morning, I had it all hooked up, just like it was, and it just kind of fit in with our DVD player and everything. Everything was already hooked up. They were in there opening their gifts, never looked up at that. Never noticed it was that. And so we used this. We said, hey guys, y'all need to see us. We got the DVD of us MC in the 
Christmas parade. And y'all need to, y'all need to watch it. They were, they were really like, into oh, that. Oh yeah. yeah, whatever. You know, okay, we'll watch it. And so anyway, we go and get the DVD. And I said, here, I think I just gave it to all three of them. I said, here, y'all figure out. I don't know how to work the DVD player. Y'all figure it out. And so they go over there and then they start looking around. They're like, what? Uh, and so they were really excited. They figured it out that we had bought them the Xbox. And so that was my favorite gift because they just went crazy. And Mark got it all on video. They were that was screaming. Pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. I think that was the best gift that we've given them because they, they totally didn't expect it because we kept saying, no, we're not going to Xbox. Y'all aren't going to become gamers and all that. Yeah. The funny funniest part of that is that the only person that really uses the Xbox now. <laughs> NBA 15. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, that's my, that's my funny story. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Favorite, yeah. favorite Christmas gift you've received? Hang on, I'm sweating. Yeah. I'm Is that sorry. real noticeable? We've got the, not really. Uh, We've got okay. the AC turned uh, probably down. Or down as low as it'll go. Yeah, I got you. The lights are a little All right, what was it? Uh, do you remember a favorite Christmas gift? You, you talked about yours. You, uh, the, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they've already asked you that. Did you, did you have one? My favorite Christmas gift that I've ever received. Mm. Do y'all have any family Christmas traditions? Hmm. Or do you have a, a Christmas tradition from your family growing up that you remember? Anything different? No, growing up, we would. it was like clockwork. Christmas Eve would go to my grandparents on my mother's side and then come home and then wake up Christmas morning for Santa Claus. And then my other grandparents lived a mile down the road and so the entire family would go there middle of the morning and uh, open presents there. And so it was literally like three Christmases. And so uh, then after that, then it was done. So then all the kids would get together either at our house or we all lived close by and uh, would play them that afternoon. So that was like clockwork every year you knew. Now that we're older, it's a crapshoot. <laughs> we don't get this together at all. But uh, but growing up, that's the way it was, like clockwork every year. Any uh, any foods that you look forward to in the seasons, or that you think of as something that you think of that says Christmas to you? Oh gosh, my mom would make those chocolate peanut butter balls. You I mean, she that. would stay up at night. I mean. They and were the ham everywhere. And cheese sandwiches. And the ham and cheese sandwiches, Hawaiian yeah. Hawaiian ham and cheese sandwiches. Uh, but she would just make all the stuff. It was just nonstop. And so, but yeah, that was really the thing. Uh, I remember the one year that we uh, decided not to do a traditional Christmas meal, and I want to think it was like shrimp or tacos or something like that. We did do that. And, we, had, uh, we had a Hispanic. It was like a Cinco de Mayo Cinco Christmas. de Mayo Christmas, maybe, if you will. I don't think there is. It uh, didn't Feliz seem Navidad. the same. Um, Yeah, but it, it, it didn't, didn't go over. Yeah. No, it didn't but, seem the same. Yeah, we haven't so. tried that again. Yeah. Um, real Christmas tree or fake? Real. Real. Growing up had fake. Uh, yeah. Me growing wrong up, fake. I had fake too. Some but, years um, fake, some years real, but so we've had a real every year. Tell me about your Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. Well, the first uh, the when first we were first <laughs> together, we decided uh, to get a real Christmas tree, and I wanted like the biggest Griswold tree. Yes. You know, awful full, a lot of sap. I wanted like the humongous Griswold tree, and we went and. Uh, and pick that out at Home Depot. Best at Home, at Home, Home Depot. Depot. We didn't go into the forest and cut no, it down. No, we went to Home Depot. Went to Home Depot. Mark had a trailblazer at uh, the time. <laughs> and we fit it in the back of the trailblazer. There was pine needles and in that, that wasn't, car wasn't for a good thing because years. You can't, yeah. there's, there's still pine needles in it. Whoever has it now has yeah, pine needles sorry, in the car. But um, yeah. yeah, hauling a Christmas tree in the back of your trailblazer is not a good idea. But um, we made it work. Yeah, but it was a big Christmas tree. And but then, then I couldn't get it up. Then we got it the, home. We had no idea how to get it in the stand. We couldn't get it on the stand, so we had to call Don Hale. And so Don, Don comes over and saves the day yes. and has the Christmas tree stand and it's like, you know, here, this is how it does, you know. And so, Merry Christmas, Don. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Yeah. Um, how does Santa Claus get into your house? Mm. He has to use the front door. Okay. Yeah. He has a, we have a. Um, we have a faux fireplace, so, yeah. Right. So, Stockings. yeah. We do the oh, stockings. Yeah, yeah. We always have stockings, and they're hang they're Fish hung net. on the middle and Kidding. no mantle. Yeah, no. on the mantle. Um, we do have the stockings that are hanging from the. No, they hang on the uh, the stairwell. Uh, well, yeah, when they get too full. So yeah, Santa has to use a front door or a back door at our house uh, yeah. because we don't have a chimney. So, but that's okay. More favorite, convenient. Favorite Christmas song. Mm. Feliz Navidad. 
hmm. my favorite by far. Um, uh, probably Silent Night, probably traditional. Uh, a lot of act, you know, anybody can do it different ways, and I think probably Silent Night. Do you know the words to Felice the Ovi Dove? I do. Do I'm not a singer. <laughs> there's no way. I, there's sing it. no way you're getting me to sing it. <laughs> I don't know the there words. There has not been either. enough wine consumed tonight oh, for me to you sing wait. Feliz yeah. Navidad. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you heard the Pee Wee Herman version of that? I have not. I'll have to Google that. <laughs> <laughs> See the Pee Wee's Christmas song. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, I take that back. I was wrong. The Little Drummer Boy. Oh, yeah. I was always like well, enthralled with that as a kid, the Little Drummer Boy. And, um,. Uh, what Child Is This? I think I heard Keith Whitley do that when I was a kid. I mean, that was a good one, too. Justin Bieber has a good rendition of The Little Drummer Boy. I bet he does. Are y'all both from here? No. Neither one of us got here as fast as I could, though. We both did. So, um, have, you, have, have you had white Christmases? No. Um, we have never had a No, Christmas. I remember having one as a kid. Uh, but no, not in El Dorado. One, I think back in 2000, when there was the big snowstorm, what, I think that might have been the day after Christmas. But no. Yeah. We've never. It's not a tradition to have a white Christmas. And when the kids get older, I hope we'd like to be able to like take a trip, like go to New York or something yeah. like that for Christmas. I think that'd be cool. Miss Doty so. remembered a white Christmas. In, Did she? Yeah, it was like 1929 or something. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so there Probably been, been the last time. Yeah. <laughs> it may have been. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, let's see. I think I've asked most all the questions that I've, that I've been asking. Is there any other Christmas memory that you particularly want to talk about? Um. No, you know, being a, a huge NBA fan, Grant, that was always a uh, a big deal because the NBA would always have Christmas Day games, and so the NBA on NBC back in the you know the nineties, whatever. So after Christmas and Christmas lunch, then you'd watch basketball. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank All you. Right. We didn't make you laugh. Are you doing? Are you doing the parade?